today we're gonna turn a baseball bat there you have it got the specs off of uh, Louisville Slugger um, if you go on their website on their their home page right on there um, it gives you right through from you know age height um, and all the specs for all the little league t-ball right on up through uh, major league and uh, the angler wanted me to turn the turn one so here we go all right, angler, I had to pull out the big lathe for the baseball bat. The little one won't fit it in between centers. This is a leather flat belt. I can turn a 22 inch bowl over the bed with this lathe. I had to, uh, doesn't have a, a Morris taper on the headstock here, so I had to uh, go ahead and round up the end of the bat here to fit it into my uh, chuck. And we're going to go ahead and put it in between centers and turn you a bat. Uh, Alright, I picked up the stock for the bat. It's a uh, ash. And it's uh, 3 by 3 by 40 inch. The bat we're going to make is 32 inches. I went on a couple different websites. The length, everything on them actually varies a little bit, but we're going to make a 32 inch bat. 2 and 5 eighths inch round on the barrel and let's go ahead and get started I've never done this before all right I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, work down and true the piece true it up and then we'll go from there we're just gonna go ahead and keep moving down so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, and work our way back down and get it all, uh, get it true, and then we'll uh, go ahead and get the calipers out and start uh, doing some, taking some measurements. is going to be 32 inches. So I'm going to take off a little bit of the bottom there. And right there. So there's our Finished is five, uh, two and five eighths. We want the want the. I'm going to bring it over just a hair for sanding and everything. We want the finished product to be two and five eighths. I'm going to bring it over just a hair. Uh, because I'm going to sand it up a little bit, but I'm maybe an eighth over. Alright. So, we're just going to cut into it with a parting tool and set the diameter down here. start to eat away some of that.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sand it up with the sandpaper, but I'm gonna have to turn on the dust collector to, because uh, I'm not gonna put wax and mineral oil on it. So I'm just gonna do that. You won't be able to hear anything, but I'm just gonna run through the grits. Probably not a, you know, probably don't have to run up as high as you, you do on, on a box or something, but probably 220 or so. All right. Just a little bit. All right, I'm just going to keep running through the grits here. I'm done with the orbital sander. That actually worked out a uh, little better. It keeps it, uh, you know, consistent all the way across. All right, got it all sanded up. I'm going to go ahead and bring that one down just a little bit more and then part it off on the other end. So, going to bring her back up speed. Clean up the little nub on the end. Go ahead and clean up that nub. Cut that off. We'll be done. <laughs>